What is up guys, Lord Respawn here, welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So, Nintendo dropped another Animal Crossing related commercial for our viewing pleasure, so naturally we need to go over everything that was in it and talk about all the little details. So, here it is on YouTube in its entirety. Uh, this is just a screenshot of their YouTube page. Feel free to go hop over there and check it out. Uh, it's only 31 seconds long, so really not that long, but there's a lot of content in it. So I wanted to make a video and talk about everything because it has some very, very exciting stuff. So let's go get right into this. So first off, we see the official title screen of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, as you can see here, it's going to be your, your traditional hover kind of pan out around your island and, and really showcase different parts, show Timmy and Tommy walking around. It's going to show villagers later on walking around, just like all the other Animal Crossing games. So love that they brought that feature back. One thing that to note on this screen is you will see a save data settings uh, minus button feature down here. And, you know, there's a lot of speculation going around as to what that is. Maybe you can add a new file, uh, change something about your current file, delete it. Uh, I find it hard to believe that that button is only for deleting uh, your, your save file. Maybe it's, you know, building another house on your island. That's what I think it is. Let me know in the comments what do you think that button is going to be used for. But it is very, very cool that we get to see our first look at an official title screen for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So next up, we have a villager that is just kind of hanging out uh, on her island. And, you know, she is she is thinking about placing an item somewhere, This in this case a log bench. But the key call out here, you know, you notice some, build, some building plans over here. You notice some, um, you know, some different, uh, I guess, materials on the ground here. You notice a few different uh, weeds around the side, a little uh, water pitcher right there, a vase. Uh, there's a few things I do want to mention here, though. You will see a clothing button. So, you know, I don't really know what that's that's going to be used for. As you can see, you know, on this this top part, all you see is material, right? And, and then also some furniture. You don't see any clothing. So I don't know if you have, like, a separate backpack. Maybe, like, this menu is for your backpack, and then this, this menu down here is, like, your traditional menu that we're all used to. Uh, maybe this is, like, the expanded storage aspect. Who knows, but this definitely seems like it's more, uh, you know, tactical for, for building and, and catching bugs and fishing and, and having items and things like that. And then this is going to be your, more of your, uh, you know, your, your making your character look good, uh, where you carry all your different sets of clothing and all of that good stuff. So interesting that there is two different menus showcased here. The other thing I want to point out is it looks like, and this is purely speculation, that 20 might be our cap at least at this point in this particular game, uh, this save file that we see here, 20 looks to be the cap on material. Everything, you know, you see two capped out of 20, and then everything else is below. So, you know, more to come on that, but let's see, you know, what that turns out to be. So next up, she put her log bench down, and then we see something that is absolutely incredible, and that is a map at the bottom of the screen. Now, a couple things to note about the map. It is different completely different than the one that we've seen prior uh, so this just confirms that you know we will be able to have different maps um, we're not quote-unquote married to the one that was shown at E3 but we will actually have variation of different types of maps now you will see this one's kind of interesting there's a lot of river in this map uh, you'll see like the initial campground is kind of at the like in between a few I guess these two rivers down here um, You'll see that it it kind of enters in at the top. This one just ends in a lake at the top on the right. Uh, then they meet and go to the bottom. So just some very interesting stuff. You see the dock at the bottom. Uh, that's kind of kind of standard. It seems like that there's going to be a, a dock off the side there. Uh, you'll see the airport again at the bottom as well. We saw that in the last map. But it's just very interesting. Uh, you know, the other one seemed a lot more basic, but this one seems more water heavy. So I don't know. It depends that you play the game. Maybe you'll choose a more water heavy type, uh, map who knows, but definitely cool to see a different type of map in the game. All right. So next up, this is just basic picture, uh, of a, of this person catching a bug uh, or a butterfly, I should say. You'll see some different types of weeds and flowers over here. Uh, you'll see pears in the background and a beautiful waterfall. And then the clouds are just absolutely incredible. But not much else to say about that. 
this is a it, just an incredible image. Again, this is a close up of our pears. We've we've obviously gotten them confirmed before this, but seeing them on a tree, seeing them in a an actual on an actual island, I should say, which looks incredible. Uh, a couple other call outs here. You'll see that the fence is right up against a tree, so it looks like we can decorate uh, from that perspective. You know, you can put you know uh, fences right up against trees, kind of maybe square them off and and do a design that way. Who knows? It looks like we got some red flowers. Hard to tell what they are. Uh, a few other call outs. You've got uh, bushes right up against the side of your house. So maybe that's like a new uh, feature. And then this is the first time I believe that we have seen a purple roof. Uh, so it looks like the changing changing the color of your roof uh, setting or, or ability has come back to this game, which is kind of expected. And then the last call out of this image is look at this sunset on the in the top left corner of the screen. I mean, that is incredible. That looks super real life. Um, honestly, all of these photos, this entire ad, just Animal Crossing New Horizons literally keeps looking better and better and better with every new ad and piece of creative that we see from Nintendo. Uh, so just, just amazing to see that they took into account. You know, you've got the dark colors headed over into the pinks over here. I mean, just really showcasing that sunset. Uh, just uh, amazing. I mean, that's just so amazing. Uh, and then moving on here. So we got two pear trees here. But the main call out with this is you can actually turn, quote unquote, turn on and off a fire. Uh, so you walk up to it. It's kind of like the light in your house. You know, you walk up to it, press A, it turns it on. Uh, and then you press A again and it turns it off. Same mechanism, at least that's what it showed in the video. Uh, so that that's exciting. You know, you can just walk up to it, uh, kind of turn on your fire and then turn off if you're going to walk away and go to sleep. Uh, pretty cool L little feature, but pretty cool. Um, all together. I also really like the torches. I think it really sets the mood. They're kind of like tiki torches, you know, that you see on, uh, you know, Hawaii and stuff like that. So really cool. Uh, also, completely not relevant, but it does say March 20th. So got that hype going. Uh, they are playing it on launch day. And then this is going to be the final screen that we see before it goes to the uh, the end of the video. And it's a villager sleeping on the beach. I think a lot of us are going to do it. You know, you've got three chairs. Looks like in the middle here we got a chessboard. Uh, some they were playing some games. You got a beach uh, beach ball over here. You got some books. Do some reading on the beach. Uh, but you know this is a really big uh, beach area. So I, I love seeing that. And we've seen pretty big beach areas, uh, you know, in previous content that they've released. So great to see that again. One one I guess quick call out on this is like here's the ocean down here, right? And we see this. We can kind of see the water going above the sand. You know, and it really shows that, you know, it, it's just the attention, the detail. I mean, that's incredible. You see kind of a, a, it's almost like a light green color as the blue water goes over the sand. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible, the detail that they're putting into this. Uh, I do think it'd be amazing if, like, we could play beach volleyball or, or hit the beach ball back and forth with our friends. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I think that's a pretty cool pan out to end the video. And then to end this video, we're just going to show the title screen. I mean... This is probably the biggest reveal of this particular video is confirming that the title screen is going to be the same as previous games and really just showcase your entire town. So super, super exciting. I know it's only a 31 second ad and we turn this into a, you know, eight or nine minute video, but honestly, so much content pumped into this video. And, and you know, if you just watch it through once, you're really going to miss a lot of stuff. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, as you guys know, I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch. Make sure you enter the giveaway. Link is in the description. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and yeah, again, let me know what that save data settings button does in the comments. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later. Later.